When in need of medical care, we go to the hospital expecting a safe environment to make a speedy recovery. However, every day, one in every 20 patients will acquire an infection from the hospital. This corresponds to approximately 1.7 million patients in the United States alone, 100,000 of whom will die from these infections each year. These infections are caused by harmful pathogens such as bacteria, which can be introduced into a hospital by a single patient. The infected patient can touch and contaminate an object, instrument, or surface, which can then be subsequently touched by another person, spreading the bacteria throughout the hospital by indirect contact. Now, to test for bacteria contamination requires a technician to swab the surface of interest, then transfer the sample to a lab or detection device. This requires time, personnel, money, and it's impossible to monitor every potentially contaminated surface as seen in the top picture. As bacteria cannot be seen with the naked eye, there's no easy way to tell whether their surface is contaminated. This is the problem I aim to solve through my research. What I propose is to integrate a sensor onto the many plastic surfaces found in hospitals. This sensor would change color in the presence of bacteria, such that anyone can tell if the surface is contaminated. This can be achieved using gold nanoparticles with a star-like shape called nanostars. To give you perspective, these nanostars are 20,000 times smaller than the head of a pin. At this small size, gold nanostars have very unique optical properties in that their color can change with their size or the interaction with the environment around them. In solution, these nanostars can produce a visible color change in the presence of bacteria. Now, the main challenge and novelty of my research is to integrate these nanostars onto a plastic surface such that they could still interact with the bacteria in a way to produce a color change. So starting with polypropylene, one of the most common plastics used for molding, I've successfully tethered the nanostars onto the surface. I'm now in the process of optimizing these tethering techniques to obtain the maximum color change in the presence of bacteria. I hope you'll agree that this sensor technology can go a long way in reducing the transmission and outbreaks of bacteria in our hospitals, leaving them a safe place for care and recovery the way they should be. Thank you.